to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything I'm packing in my hospital bag. So I'm currently pregnant with baby number two, so I've got a good idea of what needs to go into this bag, but I'm also preparing for a planned cesarean. Um, I've got a little boy called Ralph already, and although I went through the whole labor with him and pushed for three hours, I ended up with an emergency cesarean, which is why I'm having a cesarean this time round. But I've got a good idea of what's needed for labor and for a cesarean situation. So I've got everything laid out for you. So here goes. So I plan to pack everything in a travel suitcase. You do have quite a lot of stuff to take and it can get quite heavy. So if you can put everything in a suitcase, especially one that's on wheels that you can pull along, it will make life a lot easier. Um, although my suitcase is fairly small, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get everything in. So if I can't, I'm gonna pack the baby's things in my new changing bag, which I'm so excited about. It's the Tiba Amal Raf Holdall bag, which I've just wanted for ages, and my family actually bought this for me. So yeah, I'm dying to use it. So I'll probably take that and my little suitcase with me. So let's start off with the most important person, which is the baby. So I've got five little vests here. These are all from um, John Lewis. This is their organic range. So they're really, really soft but it's March at the moment, so it's a bit chilly, so I know I'm gonna need a vest on the baby. And I've also got five baby grows. I've kept this one for the going home outfit because it actually says, welcome home, born in 2018. This is a next um, baby grow. And I think my other ones are John Lewis, again, from their organic range. Um, but all of them come with the built-in um, like scratch mitts. So you literally can just turn the cuffs over. So I haven't got to worry about taking any mitts with me. And they've obviously all got the built-in feet. So I don't need to worry about little socks either. I've got a little baby hat that matches the coming home outfit. And it did come with a matching bib. Although I'm not sure if I'm going to need the bib straight off while I'm in hospital. But as it comes with the set, I'm going to take it with me. I've got a little baby blanket. This is actually what we bought Ralph home from the hospital in. It's just like a really nice knitted blanket with stars on. Um, obviously everything is quite white at the moment because we don't know whether we are having a boy or a girl. So we have got that lovely surprise to look forward to. As I said, it is March and it's quite cold at the moment. So I'm gonna need like a little coat to bring the baby home in. So I've got this really, really soft little like coat suit. This is actually from Georgia Asda, um, but I just really liked it. And it's also got the built-in hand mitts again. Uh, I just thought it was really cute. And obviously the most important thing is that the baby is kept warm. I'm packing two muslins. These are just from Sainsbury's, I think. I've washed everything already, so everything's like really soft. So I'm just gonna take two of those with me. I'm also taking a pack of Pampers nappies. This is the first size nappies, and this is actually the pack that I got from Emma's diary. Mum, I think it's the bump to be pack or the mum to be pack. You get 22 in here, so I thought this is a perfect amount to take to the hospital with me. Some, um, what are these, nappy sacks. So I'm also going to take a packet of these water wipes. These are the world's purest baby wipes. I use these when I had my son. They're 99% water and a drop of fruit extract. So I know like they sort of recommend like cotton wool and things like that on newborn babies, but it's quite hard like when you're in hospital to get your water, especially after having a cesarean as well. So I find that these are really, really good. I know that they're really safe to use on newborn skin. So I'm also gonna take this little pack of Aptimil starter milk with me because hospitals will not provide formula milk. Um, I do plan to breastfeed. I tried breastfeeding with my son. It didn't work out the way I hoped. Um, my milk didn't come in straight away either. He was so hungry and I remember having to give him one or two of these in hospital. But what's great about this is that you get six little bottles and six pre-sterilized teats. So the teats come in this little packet. So they're all sealed, pre-sterilized, and then you get the little bottle of milk in with it. So all you have to do is unscrew the lid, screw your teat on, and you have got a little bottle of milk ready to go. 
And obviously one of the most important things you're gonna need is your baby's car seat. The hospital will not let you out without this, so make sure that's all ready to go by the door or already set up in your car. So moving on to me, hospital notes. Don't forget your notes. <laughs> so pack your bag, leave them in your case, if you have any midwife appointments before you go into labor, then just take them out of your case, put them back in. But yeah, make sure you take these with you. As I said, I'm having a cesarean, so I'm probably gonna be in a hospital gown initially, but I am packing two nighties that I can change into after. So I've got this one and also in this color. I got these both from a website called The Happy Mama, which has got all like maternity and nursing clothing on it. And I really liked this style purely because you can breastfeed with it as well because you've got buttons here that you can just open up when you want to either feed your baby or you can open up both sides and have that like open the whole thing up so you can have some like skin to skin contact. So I'm packing two just because I don't know how long I'm going to be in hospital for. But generally after a successful cesarean you're only in hospital for about 24 hours. Um, but I'm packing short sleeve nighties just because the hospitals are so hot and also it's good to obviously have your arms free in case you need to have any drips or blood pressure taken, anything like that. And also I've gone for a nighty over pyjamas because after a caesarean you will be fitted with a catheter. So I'm taking this dressing gown with me. It's about knee length and it is so soft and comfortable. And although I don't necessarily need it to keep warm, as I said, hospitals are really hot. It's just nice having that something to put on when you get up. And after having a cesarean, I think it's after like 12 hours or so, they will make you get up and go to the bathroom. So I remember feeling quite self-conscious after having my son with that walk to the toilet because obviously having a baby can be quite messy and you're bleeding. And it would just been nice to have put something around me, just hide any stains if there was any, and just till I got to the bathroom and I could sort myself out. I've got a couple of nursing bras, a black and a white one. They came in a set from Next. Um, they're really, really soft. They've got no underwire, so they're going to be really comfortable. And they just come with the little clips to be able to breastfeed. I'm packing my slippers. I know some people like to wear socks, but after a caesarean, backless slippers are going to be so much better for you because you're not going to be able to bend down to put anything on. Um, I also might take some flip-flops with me just because then they'll be handy that I can walk into the bathroom with them and it doesn't matter if they got wet. So I'm taking my own towel with me because I remember the hospital towels just being so tiny and white, which is not great after just having a baby. So I've got my own bath towel, which is nice and big and in a dark color. There is nothing glamorous about this. You are gonna need some big knickers. <laughs> These I literally just got from Sainsbury's. They're full briefs because after a cesarean, you are not gonna want anything near your scar. So these are huge granny pants. <laughs> and I normally go like a couple of size bigger just because I do not want anything tight in that area. Also, when you buy your big knickers, make sure you go for a dark color. You will not want to be wearing white knickers. <laughs> I have packed also just a really nice like loose jogger set just because I don't know how long I'm gonna be in hospital. And if I am in there for a couple of days, I might wanna get out of my nighty and just put on some like proper clothes and just feel like really comfortable. So this set is actually from Berry and it's just a really nice like loose jumper t-shirt. Um, it's part of their loungewear range. It's not maternity, I've just bought it like a size bigger. So it'll just be really comfy to put on if I need to. Then you'll need a coming home outfit. So I've got these maternity leggings. These are just new look ones that I've been wearing throughout my pregnancy, but they're over the bump ones, which are gonna be so good for after having a cesarean because you will not want anything near your wound. So I've got those with just a really loose fitting top to wear with it. Um, this is just like an oversized like jumper top. It's actually the same as what I've got on now but just in a different color. So as you can see, it's really loose, really comfortable, which is just gonna be perfect for coming home in. 
In terms of toiletries, I've got everything I need in this little bag. And the reason why I've gone for this is because when they make you get up and use the bathroom, I just wanna be able to grab what I need, take everything in with me. I don't have to be bending over, looking in my suitcase for things. So I've got everything all in one place. I can see everything. I got this bag from Amazon and you get the one big one and two like smaller pouches with it. So in this bag, I have got a pack of maternity pads. Pregnancy is so glamorous, isn't it? These are just Boots own brand and I've got a pack of 10, which should be enough for while I'm in hospital. I'm also taking a couple of nappy sacks in my bag just for being able to dispose of any maternity pads. And I've also got some breast pads with me as well. These are the Lancino ones that I got as a free trial from the Emma's Diary pack. And then I've just got a couple of Boots own brand ones that I bought as well. Toiletry wise, I'm taking a flannel, some wet wipes. Now these are just simple face wipes. And I've also got some Quickies deodorant wipes as well, because after having a cesarean, you're not gonna be able to just get up and go to the bathroom to freshen up. So I just thought if I have to do anything from my hospital bed, then these would be quick and easy. I have a deodorant a little mini dry shampoo, some mouthwash with a toothbrush and toothpaste. I'm not taking like all my face creams and everything like that with me. I'm just gonna use the face wipes and just a little travel size face moisturizer, a hairbrush, some chewing gum, and I have packed a little like travel body wash, although I think I might not be able to use this because um, prior to having the cesarean, you have to use a special hospital body wash, which is like an antibacterial one. And I think I have to continue using that after I've had the baby as well, but I'm just gonna take it with me just in case. And then I'm not taking loads of makeup with me. I'm just taking like the bare essentials, but I just feel like after you've had the baby and you're coming home, like after going through all that, you're sore. And just to be able to put a little bit of makeup on and feel like yourself again, just makes you feel good. And it's like, you know, it's a special time bringing the baby home from the hospital and I'm sure we're gonna have pictures. So if I can make myself look a little bit presentable, that would be good. But I'm not taking a lot. So I'm literally just taking this um, Rimmel BB cream that I've got, a little bit of concealer and some bronzer. I'm gonna take that with me and just a little bit of Vaseline for my lips. I'm gonna leave a pillow in the car for coming home. I don't really feel like I need my own pillow in hospital, but after having a cesarean, that journey home is awful. Like, you do not wanna go over any bump, round any bend, and I remember someone saying to me that if you just put this in front of your belly and with your seatbelt around you, it just helps give you that bit of extra like cushioning in that journey home. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this in the car. So I've just got a few little extras now that you wanna make sure are ready before you go to hospital, like change for the car park. So the last few days I've just been collecting all my coins ready to go in the front of my suitcase for the car park. Always make sure you've got fuel in your car now because you are not gonna to wanna to be stopping to get petrol on the way to the hospital. When I had my son, our hospital antenatal class actually said about making a sign saying wife in labor and that you'd be back to sort the car out as soon as possible. Now this is obviously for emergency situations and if you really just need to get to the hospital as soon as you can, dump your car and get into the hospital, you can just leave this in the dash and come back and just sort out the parking whatever when you can. But the hospital actually told me to do this so this is really handy to just leave in your glove box or in the front of your suitcase so that you can get into that hospital as quickly as possible. You're also probably gonna to wanna to take your phone and a spare charger, as well as a camera for capturing those first memories of your new baby. Although I'm having a cesarean and I'm booked in, I have to be at the hospital at seven o'clock in the morning, yet I might not actually have the cesarean until later on that day, so there could be a bit of waiting around. So I've just packed a couple of magazines to keep me and Craig entertained while we're waiting and also some snacks so i've just got some dried mango some quaker oats porridge bars and a little treat <laughs> some strawberry laces which my friend bought me now because i'm having a cesarean i won't actually be able to eat anything on the day of the cesarean because i'll have to fast from midnight the night before so 
These are more for Craig and my treat after I've had the baby. But I'm not taking too many snacks because the hospital we're going for to has got loads of like little shops downstairs and places that you can eat and buy food. So yeah, we can. I know we can get something at the hospital if we need to. But I am taking a bottle of water with me and I've got one with a sports cap on just because after having a cesarean I might not be able to just lean forward and pick up a drink when I want so if I'm having to stay in bed it'll just be a lot easier to drink from something like this so that's it that is everything I am packing in my hospital bag I hope that you found this video helpful and I will list everything I've mentioned in like the description box below so you've got a bit of a checklist but if you're about to have a baby, then good luck and congratulations and I hope everything goes well for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon.